New Braunfels is a gateway to the Texas Hill Country and has grown quickly over the last few years as its reputation has grown as a great place to work, play, and do business. And it's that last one, a good old fashioned small town business that brings me here today to Tarts Bakery. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great bakeries in Texas, but this one is something special. It's like if I close my eyes and picture the perfect bakery and open them, this would be it. Opened in 2010 by sisters Ashley and April, it's a small family-run business that's a testament to hard work, creativity, and a commitment to the craft of deliciousness. Please just give us a little bit of a background of this place. Where did y'all get started baking and then how did Two Tarts become? Well, I mean, I think we were kind of started baking when we were children in our kitchen. Um, I went to culinary school um, early on. I knew I always wanted to bake. Um, April went to art school. She kind of wrangled me in 2009. Yep. She said, let's, you know, I don't want to work at Hooters. That's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> let's open. Let's just like do this. Let's open a bakery. And um, yeah. here we are. So what makes two tarts? stand out because this place, when you walk in, you just feel, it's just, it's a special feeling. We pride ourselves on making amazing food from scratch, um, using all natural ingredients, um, using non-bleached, non bromated non flour, using real butter, honey from Gretchen B Ranch, and milk from Milk King um, out of Waco. And, and when we told people we use real butter, they looked at us like we were crazy. Yeah, really? Um, <laughs> it's really expensive. After all this talk about real butter and natural ingredients, I was ready to dig in. So we brought you an assortment of different things to try that are probably really our most popular items here in the bakery. The pumpkin pie with the little tart thing here going on. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm not the food expert here, so I'm going to say food thing. Yeah, just, just use your hands. I was trying to be, I was trying to be ladylike <laughs> about it, but here we go. Mm, that is Thanksgiving plus something else right there. Okay, so you said churro and my eyes lit up. We got a churro right here, so we'll try it. Mmm. So good. Yeah. Okay, so you did say this uh, red velvet cake is something very special to the it family. Is. It is very, it's, it comes out straight out of an old church cookbook from 1962 and it is original red velvet. And red velvet also happens to be one of my favorite Yay! pastries and cakes. So I'm gonna cheers. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that reaction is something that I tell all my employees. I'm like, if, if something, it's not okay for something just to be okay. It's not okay for it just to be good. Like it needs to be so good. Like you have, you can't stop yourself from eating it. And if it has anything less, then it shouldn't be here. For us, making every aspect of that from scratch is really what makes it so good. Needless to say, there's a lot to love about two tarts, and that gave me an idea. I know I'm nowhere near your level, but you think maybe I can get a lesson from you? See I, what it takes? I think we could definitely get you into Ashley's cookie boot camp and show <laughs> you, you the ropes. <laughs> I'm, ready. I'm up I'm for just it. Kidding. I'll mind. be easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to the kitchen and try some stuff out. Perfect. First off, the way we do, we do a little bit different than a lot of bakeries do. We do a dip. Okay. Um, so a dip is this first layer of the icing. Okay. And um, it's royal icing. It takes a, about a day to dry to this hard, to this hardness. Depending on the humidity, this is Texas, so if it's like <laughs> pouring rain and like 200%, it's not gonna dry. Yeah. But if it's like a really sunny day, it's gonna dry. That's a fun part about baking, no one tells you, is like the weather is like a whole factor. So you're holding it with like the pads of your fingers, the very, very tips. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you take your spatula and you just kind of lightly like spread it off to kind of break the icing. All right, I've made a tamale with my grandma, so we'll see if that <laughs> helped me. Yes, oh, very good. Look, yo. Oh my goodness, you're great. So we'll go through and usually dip all our trays, and then we come back and start piping. Yes, yeah. this is the fun part, and it's a lot of pressure too. That's something 
Oh, yeah. I think it might be surprising. Okay, yeah. Didn't know I needed to work out my hands beforehand. <laughs> okay, all right. That's pretty good. That's Just awesome. give me a shout whenever y'all need me to come in. Seriously. <laughs> Now is the time for the feathers. So I'm just gonna do the little feathers starting here and I'm gonna do like a little zigzag. So you can, so I'm getting, going a little closer to create like a fatter line. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going around. Okay, and so the last is the eyeball. No pressure. No pressure, but a lot of pressure at the same time. That'll Perfect. do. Perfect. That is so My cute. turkey is rolling its eyes at me right now. This is what it should look like and hey. this is mine rolling its eyes at me saying, why? Okay, yours looks beautiful though. Thank you so much for letting me show you a little of what we do behind the scenes no, here. No, thank you for showing us. As it turns out, running a bakery and turning out world-class wedding cakes and cookies isn't as easy as Ashley and April make it look. All right, ladies, thank you so much for having us. Hey. You gave us some treats. Yep, yeah. yes. take some treats for the road. We loved having you today. We hope you enjoyed decorating some cookies and doing a tour of the bakery. And next time you're in your Braunfels, come downtown and see us. Don't be a stranger. Headed to New Braunfels, go to twotarts.com to check out their extensive menu.